On November 15, 2015, Snookum Arts showed off their first project at the Ohio Games Development Expo, and then it was given a Steam green light on March 28, 2016, which was given critical prayers from YouTubers Mark Supplier and Jack Septitai, followed by a Kickstarter campaign on January 17, 2017 raising over $30,000. Now it's three years later, and the game has arrived on the streets of Steam. But will you be interested in this game's interesting concept? Welcome to the HUD everyone, I'm Zaccaroni, and today I'll be a waiter who'll be going through some of the features the game has to offer. So without further ado, please be seated, and here are the toppings on the production. The production is a puzzle platformer where you guide your little character through 2D levels set in street signs in a 3D environment, where the camera moves to new areas depending on which way your character is going. When you start the game up, you first need to choose a gender for your playable character, and then you are shown how the game's mechanic works in the first few puzzles where you need to get to the exit that is highlighted with this symbol. After that, you are shown your main objective, Collect certain parts to repair this oddly constructed Game Boy, whatever it is called, in working condition for the final slice. And as you progress through the game, you are given visual clues highlighted on sticky notes for what you need to do next. Plus, there are secret rooms to find that will give you hats to put on your playable character that doesn't affect the gameplay, but it does make him or her look more fancy looking. Nice hat, governor. The pedestrian has got two styles of graphics that are powered by Unity that runs at 60 frames per second with loading times lasting around 5 seconds when starting the game up. The first is the 2D sections where they are presented as black and white lines that you've seen on street signs which it all take place in 3D environments like a working factory to a living city that doesn't seem to be populated with people for some reason. Except for the cars, of course, they seem pretty alive, really. The soundtrack is composed by Logan High, which features calm piano, jazz, and violin that will change the tone of the music depending on the location you are in. As for options, you can alter the volume, mouse sensitivity, and quality of the game, change the resolution from 600 to 3840, set the game from full screen to Windows, and activate VSync. Each puzzle section requires you to find the exit, and sometimes, find keys and connect electricity to open it. But there's just one problem. You are stuck on one single sign, and this is where the main mechanic comes into play. When pressing a certain button or key, the camera zooms out, and you can move the signs around with the cursor. Then you can connect each sign to one another that will open a door or raise a ladder that you can use to enter the sign that is connected. But if the connection is not perfectly aligned, then the doors and ladders will not respond, which will be represented as lines that are perfectly aligned but not tied together. And if you did connect the signs, then everything you did while they were connected will be reset and you'll be sent back to the start of the puzzle, which is represented with this symbol. As you progress through the production, you are presented with new mechanics, like signs that are bolted to the wall, making them unmovable, and some will be blocked by objects that can be moved away if certain conditions are made. The production will cost you £15.49 on Steam, that comes with 10 achievements that requires 4GB of storage, and if you are not convinced, then you can download a demo off Steam for free. There aren't any news on future platforms for the game yet, but if it did so well, then maybe it will make its way to the Switch, and then eventually the PS4 and Xbox One. Or the PS5 and Xbox Series X, if it missed the mark of course. Well, that's some of the features I can talk about right now, but if there are some that I have missed, let me know in the comments, and I hope this will give you an idea of what you'll be getting for your money. Check back with me later, and I'll tell you what I think of the production and all the other games I've been playing in a completed menu. And if you like what you see, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Plus, stay in touch on my Twitter page, link in the description down below. But until then, I'm Zaccaroni. Enjoy your pizza, and I'll see you next time.